Atchison Principal and Ms. Rosemary Johnson, Vice Principal, I'd like to welcome you to the 1995 Spring Concert featuring the Oak Grove Instrumental and Choir Departments. My name is Richard Mize and I'll be your Master of Ceremonies for this evening. Our first group to perform this evening is the beginning band. Mr. Jeff Fondren takes the podium to direct the band in a song entitled School Song. Following School Song, Mr. Martin will direct the beginning band in a song entitled The Crusaders. is the concert choir under the direction of Mr. Jeff Fondry. The choir will sing Motown Medley and Scarborough Fair.
play after that. We'll sing after the intermediate band. Give <laughs> me some time. Okay. The next group to perform is the Intermediate Band. It will perform selections from The Lion King. The selections will include I Just Can't Wait to Be King, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, and Circle of Life.
think we have the power back on now, so we will continue the program with Motown Med. Thank you. 
Our next band to perform this evening is the Concert Band. The Concert Band will begin its program with a march by David Schaefer entitled Burst of Brass. There is often a raw and barbaric vigor in the sound of Russian folk music. In this next selection, the minor mode coupled with a driving rhythmic beat may conjure various images, perhaps one of wild horses, rattling sabers, and frozen tundra. In this imaginative setting, the melody is first heard from afar, the snare drum and low register clarinets being barely audible. The riders gradually emerge as the music mounts in loudness and fury. Then, the climax having passed, men and horses slowly diminish into the distance until the mind's eye sees only a silent wasteland of white and the ear hears only the falling snow. The concert band now performs the Russian folk song, Meadowlands.
As of next Wednesday, May 3rd, Paul Morton will complete the Doctor of Musical Arts degree in trumpet performance at the University of Alabama. While growing up in Hendersonville, North Carolina, Paul started playing the trumpet with the school band at the age of 11. He went on to study at the North Carolina School of the Arts and the Hart School of Music in Hartford, Connecticut. From 1988 until 1992, Paul was professionally employed as a trumpeter in the prestigious North Carolina Visiting Artist Program. Currently, Paul teaches trumpet for the University of Alabama Community Music School in Tuscaloosa and performs with the Tuscaloosa Symphony Orchestra, the Alabama Brass Quintet, and a variety of other musical ensembles. Paul now joins the Oak Grove Concert Band to lend his rendition of the popular Londonderry Air.
I just want to take one second here and uh, ask Paul to come back for just one moment. Paul. <laughs> Wonderful job, man. Wonderful job. Present Paul a little a token of our appreciation for coming and uh, playing with the band uh, and lending his talent uh, this evening and uh, letting uh, our kids enjoy and seeing what it is to be a professional musician and what uh, professional musician sounds like live and uh, knowing all the hard work it took to get there. Uh, we want to present you all with this uh, certificate that reads Oak Grove High School Band, Outstanding Achievement Presented to, and we went ahead and put Dr. Paul on. <laughs> uh, for spring concert April 27th, 1995. And just want to say thank you very much. <laughs> Reflecting back on the events in Oklahoma City, and the troubles in our own communities, there are several areas in which we can draw strength. One is our faith, and the other is our commitment to this great country. The concert band would like to close its program with the Warren Barker arrangement of America the Beautiful.
Good, I'd like to take just a couple of moments to get a little closer. Talk everyone. Let's get a little closer. Get sorry. Right, I'd like to take this time to just fill you in on a few things that's coming up. And first of all, thank each one of you coming out for support, showing support for kids and everything. But first of all, before we get to the corner for the winner of the bicycle, I want to remind everyone that we have the band banquet, late 11, 7 o'clock. This is for the marching band members and parents. Because of limited space, if we here in the lunchroom, we can ask the band students and the, and the parents. So food will be catered. We've got some prices on that. We haven't got to sell to someone yet. The food will be catered in. Okay. That's all the banquet. Now, I want to talk just a second to while they get set up about the trip that's coming up in December. I don't know if everyone knows, some people know, this past weekend, uh, Mr. Martin, Mr. Rogers, and myself were fortunate enough to go to Phoenix and look around, have an on-site tour, as the travel agency said. First of all, I will say the band did not pay for this. Not one cent comes from the band. International travel paid for every penny. I believe it was nice because we did not spend a penny. They covered everything and it was real nice. And I was really glad they'd done it because you don't know what you get into. Something like this, but that's what the whole trip was for. That's why he does this. First of all, I'll tell you something about the travel agency. The name is International Travel. The man owns the travel agency. Ray is his first name. I can't think of his last. He was born and carried us around. And he has been doing this, International Travel. They are the official travel agency for the guests of Bow Parade. They've been doing it since uh, 1982. They're very experienced in moving vans. They're very experienced in handling uh, the parade. He was a band director at one time. And most of his staff are familiar with the band. They also handle the best parade, is the biggest one that they do handle. The other one is in Hawaii. They have a one. So they they're experienced with moving vans great distances. What we did when we got there, they had us the tenor worked out too. We we touched the ground about two o'clock. He was sitting there waiting and we went by the hotel long enough to throw the luggage in the room and that's the last we seen it at twelve o'clock at night. And he got us back to the room and it was hard because I did not know that Arizona one state that does not go on daylight savings time. So there was two hours different. When we got in the room at 12 o'clock, we got up early to go. We got there at 12. It was 2 o'clock our time. So we were pretty wiped out. He had us up at 5 o'clock next morning going again. But uh, the trip, I was very, very impressed. I've never been out. I don't have many. You've been out west around Arizona. I've never been. I've been far to Texas. That's it. I think Phoenix City and Old Scottsdale and the city of Tippy right there together. I think they're about the beautifulest place I've ever seen. The air is clean. There's temperature all the time except the summer. It's about 70 to 80. In summertime it gets over 100. But when we're there in December, it will be in the high 70s, humidity about 20%. And that's nice weather. We will be, the parade first, I'll tell you about the parade, it's 3.1 miles, that's a long march, but it is flat, very flat, very level, and there will be seven of us marching with the kids, I hope I can get myself and the other six in shape for the parade, but it's going to be a long 3.1 miles. There will be two TV stations. Well, one TV station on the West Coast covering it, and NBC National TV will be covering it. We'll get it on both, because the West Coast TV station has no commercials. We will get that tape. They said we could get that tape. And uh, last year, they had 400,000 people on the streets watching parade. But looking for it to be bigger this year, because the, the Fiesta Bowl will be the bowl to side the national champion. They have got that in the contract, and the only way it can get, now this is important to the <clears throat> people out there to build the boat, 
the only way that can get messed up is if the Big Ten or Pac-10 team is number one or two. Then they go to Rose Bowl. Rose Bowl. That's the only way. As long as the Big Ten or Pac-10 team does not wind up one or two, the national champion will be at the best of both. So they're looking for a uh, big crowd, a lot of people. <clears throat> we went over a lot of things and tried to hit everything we we're going to do as quick as we could. We didn't have much time. Of course, we're going to have the Grand Canyon. That's going to be great for the kids to, to see that. We did not have time to go to Grand Canyon because four hours out there, four hours back. We did go to the Ponderosa, which we will be about dark. We'll arrive there, get on a, a wagon, a hay wagon with a, a mule team pulling it. They'll pull us in the mountains, and the, that's a beautiful mountain, I'll tell you. I'll be seeing them. The cactuses, the flowers, beautiful. They'll pull us around the mountains. We'll go into Box Canyon, have a cookout, and I have a country singer there that have a person telling ghost stories. So I think the kids like that. Also, we'll go to Wave Poo, which is inside. They've got eight lifeguards around, plus all of us watching. And I think the kids gonna love that, especially Wave Poo. Gymnasium, all kind of stuff. They will have a New Year's Eve party. We will be there for New Year's Eve. There will be a New Year's Eve party at the hotel. And they promised us a real good time. They're used to having that. The hotel we're staying at, what we liked about this, because they've been doing it so long, only one band will stay in a hotel. We will not be mixed with another band. The girls on one floor, the boys on another floor, they will not be mixed. There will be a chaperone room at every exit, stair exit, and a chaperone room at elevator. Also, they have a two, two wings. On the right hand, if you're looking at it, the right hand side wing where the rooms face out, that's where the parents will stay. On the left hand side where all the rooms face the inside, the kids and chaperones will stay. It won't be mixed. They don't even like doing that. The, ho the hotel is very experienced. They've been doing it for 20 some odd years. Haven't. We will be going to a, let me get this right. I see Grand Canyon, Dixie Stampede. Now I was, I don't know how many of you went to that, uh, Knoxville, when we went, went to something similar a western type dinner theater, that's what I was looking for. This is not that. This is down Pete is an old western town built in the 1880s, a full-size town. And they got the rodeos a whole bit. We'll have a, a big cook out there, steak, everything, and go back in the town. Got all kinds of stuff to do in the town. And the good thing about, I mean, I think what kids are gonna love about that, because the travel agent, he, he pulled this on one of the uh, band directors from Florida. We had two band directors from Florida, one from California, and then us from Alabama. The sheriff in the town, we can arrest you and will arrest you. The travel agent told Mr. Martin and Mr. Funder that he advised them do not come into town. Stay outside of town. Because the kids can get a warrant out for them. The sheriff will go get them, bring them to jail, they'll have a mock trial and a hanging. <laughs> Uh, I think the kids, and I was laughing, I was laughing. He looked at me and said, what are you laughing for? I said, it's funny. He said, believe me, you. He said, you won't believe how many man boots would like to hang you. <laughs> he said, you stay outside of town. So I don't know if we'll get in town, but it was real nice. He'd done it. They, they did it to one of the guys there. He was very surprised, very shocked. The, when they pull the rope, the noose around you, they take a picture. So every kid is going to want their picture taken, I think, hanging. A band director. So they're going to get a, a kick out of that. It is a very full, full um, four or five days we're there. Something going all the time that will be very tired, I'm sure. Because the guy, Fred, he said that he believes in the kids having a real good time, that that's what they do this trip for, for the kids. And believe me, it's, it's going to be, I was very impressed. Before I went out there, I, you know, that's a lot of money. And it is a lot of money. It is. But you're talking about airfare, we got a charter jet, one, one non-stop. We had to change planes and all that stuff. But it's non-stop, Birmingham, Phoenix, about six hours. And you're there. The plane's there, the tourists will be waiting on us and all that. The, we'll get off, go to buses. A truck be sitting there. The airport will not handle our luggage other than putting it all off the plane onto the bus truck. That's it. Um, we have the organ stop that we do. It's a pizza parlor, and it's hard to describe this. You have to see it. It's amazing. But 
they do in there. But the kids will like that, but it's gonna be part of one of the meals that we do on that. The other thing is that all meals are covered. A child can go on this trip and not spend one penny. Not a penny if they don't want to. Every single bite they put in their mouth is covered. The lodging is covered. The trip, the buses out there, we've got some real nice buses that will be carrying us around. They believe in security. It's great. Security is real good. The, uh, let's see, the bus drivers stay there at the hotel with us. All that's included. I mean, they care everywhere we go. Yeah, that's another thing. They also, they have learned from the state, they also have a bus mechanic assigned to each van. <laughs> so no matter what you have, there'll be a bus mechanic following us around or right close to us. That's good. Oh, let me see if I can I, I don't want to take up more time, Mr. Martin, Graydon, on the, the trip. It's, uh, I'm excited. One, one person, now this is what's so nice about this trip too, man, look at One person from this travel agency will, be, will fly into Birmingham and fly from Birmingham to Phoenix with us. We ride to Phoenix, another travel agency person will get with us. A Fiesta Bowl committee person will get with us. So every minute of every day, even at the hotel, there is three officials with us at all times. Any problems, anything, these experienced people have been doing it for a long time, they're right there to handle it. We don't have to worry about handling it. If we got a problem, we just tell them what it is, they handle it. And the way they talk, there shouldn't be any problems. They're, if we got any vegetarians, they said let them know. They'll have the food ready when we get there. They'll be that. We got people. I mean, they just they cater to everything that we need. It's wonderful. I mean, it's tremendous. Now, we want to talk this up. And try to. I'd love to have every kid in the band going. I would hate for none for any not to go because I think it's a once in a lifetime trip. The best parade is a very prestigious parade. We looked at the figures and everything out there. The best parade is is game about to pass the Rose Parade in prestige as it is. As far as people, the money that the schools, the colleges get for the game and all that, and all this is real, it's a real big thing now. Now I hate for any kids not to go. As far as the money, we will try the band boosters. We will try everything in our power to see to it that the kids can earn their money to go on this trip through fundraising. The bicycle, I appreciate it. Our Intel Pepsi, we appreciate them donate the bicycle that we can do tonight. It was a quick thing, but that was to help with their down with their down payment deposit. I think I don't remember that number two or three people of the students that got out and sold and their deposits covered. They paid for the deposit off the bicycle. So we're gonna put the opportunity out there for every kid to make the money to pay for the trip or as much as possible but we cannot force them to. And I talked to one daddy yesterday who had heard nothing about the raffle. Did not know nothing about it. And he's talking about the money. He said he's gonna go home and talk to a couple of kids. So they could at least help. And we're gonna try our best. Uh, let me find more uh, On May the 13th, which is Saturday, from eight to four, we will have a yard sale in front of the school. We've got that okay to have a fun school. Only band students. Don't come out dragging up the next door neighbor, Aunt Mary, so and so, and let us have yard sale. This is only the band students, of course, parents. They can sit up their tables, their booth, whatever. Every single penny they make goes straight to their trip. They have to turn it in so we can account it to their trip, but every penny that they make is for their trip. So it depends on what you bring, how good you sell it, whatever. But that's going to be a big, that's on May the 13th. So I'm trying to tell all the parents now in case the kids don't take it. Try to plan on that. Okay, we... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll send a letter home. If you can, send it back so we'll know about how many we're looking for out here. So they should be able to raise a good bit of money that way. Uh, okay, Monday, the $125 deposit is due Monday. Please. Get this in. It's very important. We have to send this money straight on to the travel agency because they use it. We, we don't sit on none of this money. It's time we get it. It goes to the travel agency. The payments are set up. 
Okay, Christy said that she would be here a few minutes after it's over to take any money from anybody who wants to pay. She'll be here. And <clears throat> last thing, if some of you probably guessed already, we're trying our best, and hopefully next year we'll have new uniforms. Uh, they're, they look real good. They're nice. We don't know if we'll get them before marching season, but we will have them by the parade. So we'll have kids marching in brand new uniforms and a big parade. So we'd like every kid to be there if they can to, to help the support them. Now we'll go ahead and get the ride for them. I appreciate y'all's patience, but I want to report to y'all about the uh, trip. So that's what we went for, for us to learn. And I'll be glad to answer any questions I might, I, I might not hit on. If anybody wants to know anything after. And Ms. Johnson will pull the winner. I get this last name. It's my leathers. Uh, Henry Kimball sold it uh, from Leeds. So I don't think he's here, but we'll contact him and show him. I had 200 in there. <laughs> that shows you my luck. I had 200 tickets in there. Feel the Love Tonight, featuring Anna Parsons on vocals, and close with Locomotion.
sees me through It's enough for this restless warrior just to be with you Can you feel the love tonight? It is where we are It's enough for this warrior
just want to tell you thank you for coming out and supporting Oak Grove High School, the band, uh, the choral department. I know we've run a little long here, but uh, I think uh, I think that was pretty good, don't you? I want to thank uh, want to thank Junior and all the executive board on on helping us uh, throughout this year. It takes a lot of money to obviously to have a superior group like this, and that's what we have here at Oak Grove. Uh, I'd like to thank the band students. It's a great job tonight from all of you, all the band. I want to thank uh, Ms. Harris and uh, Donna. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mines, thank you for being the MC. Hello? Uh, um, thank you, Mr. Andrew, for doing the tape for us, and everybody that was here that helped out tonight. Uh, Ms. Johnson, thank you. Um, and we hope to do it again soon. Um, we have our band banquet on the 11th, and I'd uh, love to see you there. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you.